Hello, hello, corn on pop pop. And hyper gamer. Playing more Code Veronica, part 20. We watch as Alfred is trying to flee in his jump jet. Which is a neat little trick there, because you'll notice what he just did with the little emblem yep. is a nice nod to what you're going to have to do later as Chris to escape the island. Yeah, but you have to do it in a much more roundabout way. Of course. You've got to melt one of the plaques to get the metal out of it. Yep. Come on, get out from under there, you little sh shit. <clears throat> Once again, Cora's talking to his kidder. He's a bad kidder. I'm yeah, going kidder, to... He's a bad kidder. You're lucky I don't have the German Shepherd anymore. Um... Actually, that's a good question for you, uh, Cor. Have you played Parasite Eve by chance? Uh, no. Actually, a guy named uh, Soliton Medic asked me if I had it and if I'd stream it. And I said I would, but I don't have it. And he's like, mm. oh. I was like, I play all my games for original hardware. And he was like, uh, oh, I thought you emulated your stuff. No. Nah. OG is better. I might actually... Actually, that's an idea for what I might stream. I might do a Parasite Eve run. Yeah, I always... Because pre I've played yeah. bits and pieces, but I've never actually played through the whole game. Ah. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, was going to say, uh, I like to play with the original hardware, not on emulator, because it always looks better. It's much crisper, there's less graphical issues. Because the PS1 well, was a weird console to emulate. It was. The PS1 emulator has gotten a lot better. I just prefer it because, well, I'm just a sucker for retro games. But oh, yeah, that's just that's why I collect them. That's why I love that this one is, like, literally perfect. Hell, the one sticker that it had on it peeled off perfectly. Excellent. Yeah, it's like, that's... This, this is cool as shit. Yeah, so, um, can I make this fit on one screen? That's the question. Oh, Infamous fell out. Get back in <laughs> there, Infamous. <laughs> Aha, there we go. So just bear with me one second. No one else can see this, but I'm currently searching for something on my computer. There's a typo right on the back of this box. Is there really? Yeah, at the top it says Edward Carnby and Aline, Cedric are about to face their worst nightmare, out to avenge the murder of their friend, and then it says Carby and Aline arrive on the Shadow Island. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna po I'm gonna pop that there whilst you're um popping the tyrant full of lead or explosives in this case. Whoa, he is wrecking you. Yeah, he just keeps. Stagger lock in my ass. Oh, you almost died there. Like, look at that. He's got the super murder. murder. I, you I want to be careful. I'm fairly certain he can knock you out of the plane. Yeah. That would be funny. You're supposed to knock him out of the plane. Nah, bitch. Situation's flipped. So that's a question for you. Do you know the reason why in his previous form he didn't have claws because he wasn't in the super form no it's not the reason why you'll notice that even non-super tyrant in the first game was um yeah but if you notice the uh, the later forms moved away from the clawed hands and this is a mr x variant yes but he doesn't have regular hands he has stumps yeah he's a little stumpy shit I don't get why he's... how that's practical, but all right. Because, and this is a fun thing, and this is why I was asking, just leading into something a little bit of trivia, story-wise. So, uh, in this game, the story behind this dude here is he is actually a training tyrant. Hmm. They use him for training the Umbrella Special Forces. That's why he's got blunt hands, so he can't kill them. Well, by punching them. But By punching be... them anyway. I mean... Which, it's... mind you, like, that's the story behind it, but that's incredibly dumb. It's like, it's a tyrant. That's the sole mission in life, is to kill things. I know, and then it's like, eh, let's just use it for training. It's like, 
doesn't doesn't matter about the rapid mutations that sometimes happen or anything like that. Or the it's fact just, that it's... with sheer blunt pressure, he could probably crush your skull. Oh yeah. It's like, oh yeah, that's cute. You've gotten rid of his talons, but like, he's still a superhuman. He can just hit you and smash your face in. Pretty much. <coughs> it's just like, whoever thought that was a good idea? <laughs> then again, they're... they're pro- they're probably the same people who designed the Bandersnatchers. So Alfred. Actually, no, Alfred's not smart enough to do that. Umbrella at some point. Yeah, Cause... but Alfred had to have approved that, considering it was made no. at his facility. It was not made at his facility. They were being stored there. He is a, he is a training facility in a prison. But remember, he has the Antarctic facility. With, and Which he has he hasn't... any does have a lab that they do use it's just not a very small one it's not like the raccoon city lab yeah so like the the idea behind rockford island is it's more a prison than it is a lab and they do training exercises for the umbrella uh spec op stuff fuck it send them all to sheena island you perv steve she is nearly asleep (laughs) you fucking perv The damn patriarchy strikes again. No, that's just straight up. Don't do that, you perv. Fucking yeah, perv. I know, you don't. <laughs> you don't force the th- uh, non-consensual kiss on someone while they're out cold. Now she's awake. Now go. Now you go for the kiss. It's like how they just don't notice that they're going to Antarctica. Also, it raises the question of where the hell is Rockford Island if they're that close to Antarctica? That's a good question. Is Rockford Island off the coast of Australia? (laughs) Or New Zealand? (laughs) Maybe Brazil? Yeah, I was thinking that. Maybe the South, Southeast America. Like, they're the only... Oh, I could do South Africa as well. But, like, those are your only four choices. South Africa, South America, Australia, or New Zealand. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see. Save first half. Oh, South America. South America. There's our answer. Yep. Um, See, we're getting better at actually remembering to just check this trivia on the fly instead of having to correct it next episode. (laughs) Well, I mean, as long as we got enough time in the video, it ain't too bad. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, I was going to say, that's right, the, uh, the plane just Kool-Aid manned the Antarctica base. Oh, yeah! I oh, heard y'all yeah. had, I heard you had T-Virus. Oh, yeah! That's a question I have, like, with this Antarctic base, when was the virus released? Because it can't have, unless it was at the same time as the Rockford Island... Like, both were infected at the same time. Yeah. Which is a possibility, because Wesker does know about this place. And Wesker is pretty thorough. Damn, Steve. Where'd you get that strength? Just fucking fucking kick it straight. Goddamn, Steve, stop being a perv. (laughs) It wouldn't be that hard to actually kick uh, the door off. I know. Mostly because I've flown on military planes, and as long as the... Especially with the power being out, there's nothing actually keeping the seal on that door. That's slightly disconcerting. And it hinges out. So as long as you you just be going along the natural path of the hinge. Eh, fair enough. Still, though, just, like, kicks it and just sends it flying. That door would be, would not be light. D- well, depend. it's ridiculous. Actually, that'd be really dependent on... Did he... He didn't... He didn't turn the bar, though, on the door. For, basically, there's a latch on doors that latches them shut. Mm-hmm. That means they flew that whole time with the door unlatched. 
or it's a video game continuity problem and it just <laughs> either that or he's already been given the um the Veronica virus he's already been given it and he's just like superhuman already plot armor they never... also applies to strength yeah i mean like they've never they never fully explain steve's t veronica virus stuff because he turns into a giant monster but then turns back yeah which is not something we've ever seen and it's like like shouldn't not nosferatu have been able to do something like that considering well, they nosferatu were given it... was actually a different strain of the veronica virus so that's another fun story fact. There's two strains. There's the one that they use initially on Alexa and Nosferatu. And then there's Alexa's strain after she's been in hibernation for 15 years. Ah. Uh, and that's the one that she gives Steve. So that's probably why I was able to turn back, though, because she has been shown to be able to turn back. At least to a lesser true. form. Yes. Well, I mean, from her... First form, anyway. After that, not really. It's like, but you never know. I mean, she did turn into a giant dragonfly. It's kind of hard to go back from that. It's like you've kind of gotten rid of your legs. It's a bit difficult. Despite all his rage, he's still just a rat in a cage. God damn it! <laughs> it's like for that, I hope the Claire dies here. <laughs> no, very that... close. The, the first two deaths won't be until we get to Nosferatu. What, are you going to go, like, check my series? But, like, is he bullshitting me? No, I'm just dealing with... Uh, just internet drama, sorry. <laughs> oh, I know how that goes. Yeah, well, pro tip to anyone in the audience, don't help manage multiple gaming communities. It never ends well. <laughs> Oh man, that just reminds that just reminds me. Oh yeah, someone I think someone's watching my backlog on Vidly because it's just my views are going up slowly. But it's like sweet, yeah. Might be Aaron because he subscribed to me today. We've been holding ah, a good sick. conversation. It's good to hear, dude. Pick up them subscribers. Yeah, I if I've still got subscribers. I bet I don't. Jack and Dexter seems to be one of my more popular starting series. So that's I'm fun. not surprised by that. It's the, the only dashboard. one of the... Well, it's a Naughty Dog title, so I shouldn't be surprised it doesn't have any truly bad games. Yeah, that's true. Uh, seriously, though, fuck the Pac-Man minigame in Jack 3. Oh my god. <laughs> seriously, no. Just I no. Think I forgot about the... Where was this at? That's in Jack 3 when you've got to go into the system as Daxter and it's like a Pac-Man-esque game where you've got to eat all the bits whilst also avoiding uh, one enemy that chases you around. Except you can only go in one direction and on top of that, randomly there are enemies that spawn, that will spawn more bits and you've got to eat them before they, like, you know, repopulate all the bits that you've just eaten. <laughs> what the fuck? That 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 mini game like caused many problems in my childhood. I feel like either that's a non-essential one, or I had just forgotten about. Oh it. no, it's part of the main story. Oh, then it's I must have blacked it out of my my memory. So bad. Oh, this room. This room is filled with ammo. Like like four boxes of handgun bullets, a first aid spray, and I think an herb. Well, that's good. It's like this room is. How are we going full. for time? Uh, we're at 14 minutes out of, like, uh, we got probably about 30 seconds left. See, there's okay, another cool. box. Don't pick it up. It's a trap. Hi there. Can I talk to you about my lord and savior? Is it Wesker? He's... No, it's zombie Jesus. <laughs> so, regular Jesus? Yes. <laughs> Which will be fitting when this episode comes out, because it'll be Easter Sunday. Hello! I didn't even intend for that, but that works. Alright, let's wrap this up. This has been Core 955. Right. And Hypergamer. Playing Code Veronica. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.